And welcome back to the deep dark depths of uh, the Paragas mining facility. Some blown up channels that are full with angry droids, mines and superheated gases that will burn the flesh of your bones. Oh, very dramatic. Anyways, I fought myself back through here. This time I didn't get flamethrowed. Used some very tactically placed grenades and stealth attacks and everything. So now uh, we are... You're getting close better. to something oh. big. I think it's the main ventilation shaft. If so, the central droid controller should be somewhere nearby. Keep an eye out for it. I'm picking up a lot of droids. If you still have a mining energy shield, I'd equip it and switch it on. It's interesting how the Star Wars universe apparently just believes in very limited, uh, you know, fencing. <laughs> Like, no, we want it around the control units, but the bridge is to the control area. No, that is, there's no fencing there. People follow that, and they're just stupid and deserve to die. There aren't just mine droids down here. There's some type of sensor ball that heals things as well. Sensor? It must be maintenance drones. Uh, watch out. Those little pests will try to repair the mining droids if you don't gun them down first. Yes, I noticed. No. Odd they're still active after the explosion. They don't Ooh. have the same shielding as the mining droids. Be careful of those droids. I don't like this. Yes, I don't like it either, because they blow me up. You're still up there. Understood then, Nadius Khan out. I really feel much safer with the advanced mining laser we have in our hands. So, no maintenance droid to receive just yet. Alright, I might need to zap. Yeah. That worked. Right, the next one. And yes, we are level up, but I'm saving that till a critical moment where I need my health restored. Let's see if we can zap this thing. Ah, excellent! Your shields won't protect you from the power of the dark side! So yes. Little scaffolding fence. Guess you know, you don't want to fall off the balcony, but when you're past the balcony, so do you. You can just uh, deal with it yourself. Death stars are similar construction problems, I believe. Right, let's see if we can get in here. Yes, we can. Excellent, security tunneler. What's on that body over there? Some stimulants. I don't usually use those, but in this case we might have to, as we are not all that combat savvy. Hmm. Well, we don't need to unlock this, so we don't need the spikes. We don't have the spikes, even. Right, uh, let's see. call up the droid command functions. Ah, if we had a spike we could do so much more. Check the droid schematics. Judging from the droid schematics display, it looks like Adam was right. The droid rely on thermal sensors to de detect fuel deposits. You could easily blind them by raising the temperature. Ah, yeah, let's raise the temperature and blind the droids. Note, this will prevent the droids from being able to shoot each other if we program to mine each other. Do you wish to continue? Uh, yes. Probably not going to, uh, given our lack of spikes, we need to be uh, sparing uh, for, for the spikes we use. So, sensors are disabled. So, yes, we could tell them a whole bunch of things. So, mine sealed doors. Well, we can... Hmm. That's tempting, actually. We might do that eventually. For now, we don't have spikes, so uh, that's not going to happen for now. Access field containment functions. Shut down containment fields, I guess. Domain functions. Access camera functions. Unidentified hollow wrecked camera. Work claim 2434. Everybody here? What's up, Kurda? We're supposed to be sinking fuel siphons into the 3218 asteroid shelf right now. Forget the siphons. You know that survivor they pulled from the freighter? One of the miners said they served with him on Malachor 5. Malachor 5? Ooh. So he's one of the survivors. Or worse, a Mandalorian. 
So what? Not a survivor, idiot. He's one of the Jedi from Malachor 5. Ooh. If he's one of the Jedi, hell, we can't have him walking around here. Malachor 5. I don't know what he'll do. Name. I thought all the Jedi were wiped out in the Civil War, weren't they? Guess they missed one. But it gets better. I did some checking, and that bounty on Narshida is still live. What? You want to sell the Jedi to the Exchange? Korda, have you been chewing spice? Look, you know how big that bounty is? Ooh, yeah. That Jedi's our ticket off this rock. Korda, there's no way the officers will go for that. They'll lock us up for sure. Then we'll improvise. Mm-hmm. Also on state capture. Delete the record to uh, this camera being placed. It's not listed in the work records. Oh, very clever. So there's some checking things over there. And that's where we came from. All right. So, I guess uh, we'll have to get going then. See if we can get up through the fuel depot hatch. It seems to be openable. Um, yeah, we'll hopefully get to mine those things a bit later, but for now, we can shoot them hopefully from long range, since these droids are apparently blind now. Yeah, they don't understand what's going on. Ah. Sadly, we are very bad at shooting things. Uh oh, that one has gotten the idea. Let's zap it. And let's zap it a little more. There we go. Right, that droid is dealt with. Now this makes this much easier. Oh, that droid got the idea. Time to zap. Oh, it's dead. No time to zap then. And did you get the idea where the fire is coming from eventually? So how about little Shocky? There we go. Computer spiking. Ah, oh, Rakatan band. That is interesting. Yeah, that's very close. How about little Zappy? Excellent. Lawn and implant. We're getting some interesting loot uh, from around these Perth, these uh, fellas. So I really hope we get the chance to get our hands on some spikes. I think we might be able to unlock some secret rooms. We've heard the droids behind the one door back at the beginning. Maybe we can reach that if we tell the droids to hide it to mine open the doors. There we go. I think it's time to level us up a bit. Um, let's see, four points, four points in computer, maybe even two points, we're kind of needing that. Some points in uh, persuasion, I think. You know what, I think we'll put one point in demolition. That is not what I want. So, yeah, we put this high, put one point in demolition, and there we go. Feet's dead. Hmm. Don't think we should put anything in armor. So anything that gets us more skill points per level up. Because if so, we are definitely going to have to need that. Toughness, let's see. 10% of damage over 20 points suffered. 
That might be very good eventually. Or should we just take that we get more skill points? Don't think I want to focus on two weapon fighting too much. We are not meleeers after all. Take finesse lightsabers right now. Yeah, I think we'll just go for toughness here. Toughness or maybe uh, damnation and stealth. Persuade and treat injury. Fair. And I'm also tempted by gearhead. But now I think we'll just go for uh, yeah the toughness. Add that feat. We'll need to hit points to survive. So we have a shock. That's a good offensive power. Now maybe we should get something defensive. Something that maybe increases our skill points or something. Hmm. Body could be interesting. Defense is saving throw. So I think Vala will actually, it is a light side power, but in a pinch, yeah, this may be very useful for us, as it does increase our points by two. So if we need to, uh, you know, need to specifically a skill or something, we can increase it by using Vala a bit. Yeah, good idea. So, leveled up, hopefully now with more force points to use for things. Computer spike! Excellent! Now maybe we could set these droids to harvest the doors. Oh, there's still one living there. Hooray, goodbye droid. And what type of things did we pick up? We picked up a Krakatan Band. It gives us wisdom. This gives us will. Uh, I think I'd like the awareness right now. So I guess these are refineries of some kind? Curious. Shields and chemicals, always useful. So I could tell the droids to start mining the doors right now. However, I think. No, 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 don't get too close, just shoot it. Let's just take it from a distance and start. I guess they're not too fooled anymore. Ah, well, that's got it. I think Shock got a lot of more power for that power. Well, Thanks to the blindness. Minor sonic detonator. Right, so I think that's actually where we need to go. No, actually that's where we need to go, so... Let's go explore here first. 
don't want to leave anything interesting behind here. Oh mind, cheerful. I don't even see a saw what we picked up there. Another click issue. Ah well, I'm sure we'll see it in the inventory later. Parts, always welcome. Right, so, oh yes, we can now actually disable these mines, so let's put on the safety harness. Let's see if we can recover these mines. Skill too low. What if I use Force Valor first? Yes, now we can. Ha ha! Brilliant. See, that's why you take these things. I mean, it may not be. Oh, well, it wore off. Now we can't. Let's turn it back on again. That extra points makes all the difference. Basic upgrades, cardio rec heavy mining laser! Ooh, I think we'll be equipping that one. Industrial mining laser sequencer allows for fire multiple beams for short succession to a power pack. It's bulky, effective, but heavy weapon. I still think it uses just dexterity, right? Yeah, it does. At least I think so. If I equip the Vibro Cutter, what would be plus three? Yeah, I think and I'm advanced is plus four. Yeah, it's just a really big. Awesome! I like big guns and I cannot lie. I don't think I ever picked up this heavy mining laser. Awesome find. So we haven't explored, have we explored this little corner? Yeah, I think we have, yeah we have. Right then, so let's tell the droids to mine uh, things and see if uh, that unlocks something. Probe droid function commands. Mine sealed doors. Yes, continue please. All sealed doors have already been unlocked. Okay, that means that there's nothing back there. That's just a dead end then. Right then. Hmm. Guess we'll save a spike. Yeah. Picking up some strange readings. What are you doing down there? What kind of readings? The containment fields in the mining tunnels are shutting down. You need to get out of there before they vent fuel to the surface of the asteroid through the tunnels. Can you override it, sir, perhaps? I may be able to keep it contained until you get the turbo lift to the fuel depot, but not for much longer. I'm locking down the turbo lift to the administration section now to keep the blast from spreading. If you've got anything left to do down there, make it quick, because where you are is going to get real hot, real soon. Well, thankfully we had already, uh, yeah, claimed that. Let's see if we can shoot this. Right, let's zap this up. There we go, ha ha! Stupid droid. Don't see if I hit much more often with this. Hey droid, how about a shock? Now this character is starting to get uh, interesting to play. Well, it also has everything to do with, you know, the droids now being blinded. We blinded them with science. Science! 
Yeah, let's get all the mines, because those might be useful for opening things later. Or just, you know, selling stuff. Oh, there went our... Yeah, now we can't do it. Feller, and... See daisy there we go. Appears to have been damaged by an You can't unlock it, but you may be able to blast with a sonic charge. Well, we do have some of those. Still some flying droids here. Ah, that's one of those annoying repair bots. Guess we have to finish that first. There we go. What a bunch of dumb droids. Yeah, why would I tell the droids to harvest themselves if I could just make them as uh, meek as a uh, sheep to a slaughter? They can quite literally buck out in character. Just about to shock it. Wonder why the droids have credits on them. Must have picked it up from a corpse or something. All right, so just a turbo lift remains. Let's get out of here. I guess it wasn't the maintenance officer who is responsible, or his plan solidly backfired. Oh, hello there. It is a pleasure to see you alive, Master. Provided my receptors are not off focus. How may I be of assistance? How do you know me? I'm not your master. Answer. I am a survivor of the Harbinger, just as you were, Master. With the unexpected termination of my previous master, you are the only organic which I may now serve. And who was your previous master? Answer, the captain of the Harbinger, master. I was in transit to Telos to facilitate communications and terminate hostilities. However, we did not arrive at our intended destination. Oh, really? What happened exactly? Irritated answer. Oh, Master, it is such a long, dull story, and not terribly relevant to our current situation. Why don't you tell the, for a droid, actually, you don't take orders too well? Now tell me what happened. Hesitant explanation. That has been the subject of considerable discussion since our arrival here, Master. Many have attempted to claim you and this unit as salvage. I was crudely interrogated concerning our brief history together on board the Harbinger, before its communications, weapons, and engines suffered the cascade failure that disabled the ship. Well, it's quite a cascade failure. And how come I don't remember any of this? Speculation. It is possible you were incapacitated and locked in the well-shielded cargo compartment as the Harbinger was being systematically crippled, Master. That sounds like a very strange, uh, strange uh, situation to be in. And you know, just locked? Clarification, by locked. I meant sealed, Master. My vocabulator seems to be malfunctioning. Hmm, sure. And you said incapacitated when all this was going on. 
clarification. Yes, Master. No doubt the flurry of destruction on board the Harbinger somehow drugged you into a stupor from which you could not awaken. Most curious. You're quite, uh... Hmm. How do I put this? Flourishingly with your words for violence. And drugged? What do you mean by drugged? Placation. Merely a turn of phrase, Master. The mm. implication that your state was due to the result of ingesting large quantities of Juma juice was unintentional. I meant to communicate only that you were somehow rendered unconscious before you were locked securely in the cargo hold. And there you said locked again. Clarification by locked. I meant sealed, Master. Yeah, sure, two times. Fine. What happened next? Recitation. Following the unusual set of coincidences that led to the cascade failure in the Harbinger's systems, we were boarded by a small freighter with unknown ID codes. It appeared that this freighter had been attacked, and the captain wanted to study it. This freighter appeared to be still spaceworthy. Your cargo compartment was breached, and you were taken on board the freighter shortly before the Harbinger's systems began to go critical. I, too, managed to board the freighter before the Harbinger's destruction. We were most fortunate to have survived, Master. Hmm. Sounds like that uh, the Harbinger suffered a similar sabotage as we've seen on this station. What was this freighter then that was brought about, uh, brought about the Harbinger? Explanation. I believe it was a smuggler's vessel by the name of the Ebon Hawk. Speculation. As to its purpose, I do not know. Perhaps it was always its intention to play dead, then kidnap you off the Harbinger and rob me of my bounty. Your bounty? Clarification. By bounty, I refer to your life, Master. It would pain me to see you damaged in any way. That is why the arrival of this Ebon Hawk caused me considerable distress. You are a terrible liar, droid. Let's continue on with your prattle. Why did the Ebon Hawk come here? Apology. My memory core cannot provide a clear answer on that point, Master. Suffice to say that once we arrived at this floating rock, our situation became much clearer. How so? Explanation. Despite my market value, Master, the miners were far more interested in you. It did not take long for me to ascertain the reason for this. While an HK protocol droid is a valuable piece of property, Jedi are worth much more in certain exclusive markets across the galaxy. Painful admission. Yes, and it can I be must confess to feelings of inferiority at the speculated difference between my value and the price for your capture. I was forced to remind myself it was not due to a failing of my model or function, but because you were a Jedi. And how did they find out I was a Jedi? Surprised answer. Why, I told them, Master. You are the exiled Jedi who served with Revan in the Mandalorian Wars, are you not? I hope all that has happened has not been the result of a miscommunication. If so, then the problem lies with the core word databases, which are notoriously spotty. Hmm, great. This information would have been in the core word databases. Only the Jedi Archives. Indignant exclamation. Master, I am only a protocol droid, but it is part of my function to know such information and relay it to any interested parties in the interests of terminating any potential hostiles. Potential hostiles? That's not the word you used before. Quick clarification. Apparently my vocabulator has suffered some damage, Master. I meant terminating any potential hostilities. Once again, you are a terrible liar, droid. Very poor programming of deception. So what happened to all the miners when we arrived? Answer. All that has happened has 
been because they believe you to be a Jedi Master. They debated what to do with you as you lay unconscious in the medical bay. One group seemed intent on selling you as property. The other group opposed this. And then what happened? Some kind of battle broke out? Three standard hours after the division between the miners became apparent, accidents began to occur throughout the facility. A result of improper maintenance, I believe. Well, or sabotage once again. With the degradation of the mining droid behavioral cores. Crude models are prone to such failures, resulting in murderous rampages. The mortality rate of organics in the facility rose quickly. And what happened to the rest of the miners then? Many miners began to join you in the medical bay as a cascade of flawlessly timed detonations occurred in isolated gas pockets in the lower levels of the facility. The explosions herded the miners into emergency sections of the station quickly and efficiently, cutting them off from communications and facility control. But sadly enough, not the ventilation systems. Aha, uh -huh. why sadly enough? Oh, well, you see, the damaged explosions had damaged specific sections of the facility's ventilation system, causing a slow and lethal point of buildup of toxic fumes in the dormitory level. And you are responsible for all this, from the sound of it? Defensive answer. Master, I am a protocol droid, not a well-crafted assassination droid of unrivaled sophistication. To have carried out the actions that took place here would have required an unusual set of skills. It is highly unlikely I'd possess the knowledge of how to reprogram the memory cores of base worker class droids into killing machines, let yes, alone to I terminate like the it. organics at this facility, utilizing only Aerotech 500 series laser mining drills and explosives fashioned from proton missile cores. I think you are responsible, droid. It's quite obvious. Admission. I cannot and will not attempt to change your mind, Master. I would urge you to consider that your Colto tank treatments may have caused some disorientation. Mm hmm. And do you perhaps know who administered the sedatives to the Colto tanks in the medical bay? Killing all the incapacitated miners. Conjecture. The administration of a large dose of sedatives over a short period of time would likely prove fatal to miners, although not to a Jedi. For a Jedi, it would simply render them unconscious for ease of transport. Quite inventive. Yes, how flattering. Is that some pride I hear in your voice? Answer. I was merely commenting on the idea itself, Master, not the execution of the idea. Though that, too, was inventive. Besides, Master, those miners intended to murder you, or worse. Any complaints they would have at being murdered would be the highest form of hypocrisy. Your hubris betrays you, droid. Well, I've had enough. I'll be going now. And well, we have, uh, I think, a very good suspect to everything that has been going on here. This HK protocol droid that I'm making quotation marks here. But we will explore and interrogate HK further in the next episode. As well as uh, explore this uh, maintenance facility. Since a lot of the uh, problems seem to have started here. Suspects. It is a pleasure to see you intact, Master. Yes, being just here present here. So, until the next episode. Till, uh, yeah, enjoy.